They're everywhere and they come from all walks of life. They are trolling the internet looking for victims. Sexual predators are infiltrating websites popular with kids, often masquerading themselves as kids themselves. 13 on your side, Jen Hogan, taking a look at the growing menace of online predators and what is being done to stop them in their tracks. A generation or so ago, child sex predators typically had to leave home to find victims, and there were barriers. That unfortunately is less often the case today. Wherever the kids are is also where the predators are. Always. The doorways that online predators have to young people are sitting in the pockets of our young people. That door is your iPhone. Just about every kid has one, and for predators, it's easy pickings. These aren't my neighborhood kids or my school friends. These are people all over the world of all ages. Chris McKenna is the founder of Protect Young Eyes. He says predators know what popular sites kids like to visit. But I would put Roblox, TikTok, Snapchat, and Instagram, those four at the very top of any list. Posing as other kids, they get into social chat rooms, find targets, and begin grooming. They convince kids to send selfies. They may suggest something risque, maybe even a nude photo, offering to do the same. That's when the hook is set. It is a scenario Detective Sergeant Joel Rune has seen time and again. Very common for a child to just think they can fix it themselves. They think that they can, uh, just one more image, I'm going to disengage. Uh, and, and this, this nightmare is going to be over, and that's just not the case. This new reality has changed the way law enforcement does its work. A team working out of the building behind me is on the front lines of this effort to stop sexual predators. It's called web checks, and they have a legacy of success. Teachers, pastors, there have even been police officers, business people, unemployed people, people in the arts, performers, it spans all professions and all demographics. A recent web checks investigation led to the arrest of Philip Powell. Court records indicate the Grand Rapids Public Schools teacher was interested in sex with a 13-year-old girl. Then there's Francisco Soto and Ricardo Urbina. They were snared in a web checks probe of teen prostitution in Kent and Muskegon counties. Prostitution services were advertised on Backpage.com. But it's not just local predators preying on local kids. Harlan Wright flew here from Fate, Texas to meet a mother and her two young daughters. He was into, quote, degradation and pain. Jonathan Ledeau came from Massachusetts. He wanted to fit his victims with collars as a signature of ownership. I was shocked at how far people would travel uh, for the opportunity to engage in a sex act with a kid. It, it, it's shocking. Fortunately, there were no waiting victims. Wright and Ledeau were snared in an undercover operation. Wright got 10 years in prison. Ledeau's case is pending. U.S. Attorney Andrew Byrd says these kinds of undercover operations are critical to weeding out online predators. Very common law enforcement tool to be able to be working undercover um, and the, to be able to uh, make contact and draw some of these offenders out before they actually successfully uh, exploit a child. An annual campaign involving teams like WebChecks goes after online predators. Operation Broken Heart last year nabbed 2,300 offenders nationwide, nearly three dozen right here in Michigan. Those numbers are up from previous years. Matt Borgula is a former federal prosecutor now in private practice. He says it is important to make the distinction between predators intent on doing harm and disturbed individuals who simply talk about it. Show that they're predisposed to commit the crime. Someone who's actually out there uh, goes onto the internet with the intent to do some harm. Chris McKenna says his organization is working to reduce the prey for predators. Make no mistake, kids today in their bedrooms, in the comfort of their home, can make decisions in seconds that can radically change the trajectory of their lives.